The disappearance of 45-year-old Nicola Bully has sparked a major search operation by the Lancashire Police. Ms. Bully, a mortgage advisor from Inskip, Lancashire, was last seen while on a dog walk near the River Wire in St. Michael's on Wire a week ago. The last confirmed sighting of her was at 9.10 GMT, where she was observed on the upper field. According to SUP Sally Riley, the main working hypothesis of the police is that Ms. Bully fell into the river wire, and the incident is being treated as a tragic case of a missing person, not suspicious in nature. The police were alerted to her disappearance when her spaniel, Willow, was found running loose on Garstang Road about 25 minutes after she was last seen by another dog walker. At 9.20 GMT, detectives believe Ms. Bully's phone was found on a bench, still connected to a work team's meeting, which ended 10 minutes later. The police assumed that in this 10-minute window, Ms. Bully vanished. Sup Riley stated that an issue with Ms. Bully's dog may have led her to the water's edge, and she may have fallen in while trying to attend to the dog. The dog was found to be dry, and Ms. Bully was a good swimmer. Despite the ongoing search, no trace of Ms. Bully has been found yet, and the police are continuing their efforts the key to witness locate in the her. search for missing mother Nicola Bully has come forward. The police released CCTV footage of the woman, who was seen in St. Michael's on wire on the morning of January 27. The woman is being treated as a witness, but the police are still speaking to many other members of the public. The police believe Bully went missing while walking her dog near the river and her phone was later found by a dog walker. The search teams are still searching the river wire on the hypothesis that she could have fallen in, but there is no evidence of this yet. The search for Bully continues as the investigation is ongoing. The disappearance of 45-year-old mortgage advisor and mother of two, Nicola Bully, has been the subject of a major search operation by Lancashire Police. Ms. Bully was last seen near the River Wire at around 9.20 a.m. one week ago. Despite extensive efforts, she has not been located. The family of Ms. Bully has made an emotional appeal for information, stating that they would do anything to find her. Ms. Bully's sister, Louise Cunningham, spoke to Sky News, saying that someone must know something and that people don't just vanish into thin air. Ms. Bully is from Inskip, Lancashire, and is described as a white woman with light brown shoulder-length hair and a distinctive Essex accent. She was last seen wearing a long black gillet jacket with a hood, black jeans, and olive green ankle wellies. Her parents are Ernest and Dot Bully, and her partner is Paul Ansel, 44, who has described the family's situation as perpetual hell. Ms. Bully was last seen walking her dog Willow, a Springer Spaniel, along the river wire after dropping her daughters at school. Her mobile phone and dog were later found by a bench by another dog walker. A major search operation has been launched to find Ms. Bully, including the use of a police helicopter, drones, sniffer dogs, and diving teams. On Thursday, police released a CCTV image of a second possible witness they want to speak to in relation to the ongoing search. Ms. Bully's family has issued a statement, asking anyone with information to come forward. The family says the girls are desperate to have their mother back home safe and that the ongoing efforts have provided comfort to them. Ms. Bully's father and sister have also urged anyone with information to come forward in a Sky News interview. Sup Sally Riley from Lancashire Police stated that the disappearance of Nicola has caused a great deal of concern for the local community and that the family is being kept up to date with events and being supported by officers. The police emphasize that this is a missing person inquiry and that there is nothing to suggest any third-party involvement. The police ask people not to speculate or spread false rumors and to share updates when they can but to be factual. The first images of Nicola Bully on the day she went missing while walking her dog have been shared with the BBC by one of her friends. Sup Sally Riley, from Lancashire Police, said they were as sure as we can be that Nicola has not left the area where she was last seen and that very sadly for some reason she has fallen into the water. She said there was no evidence of anything untoward happening to her or any third-party involvement. Detectives said they were open to new information and criticized the online abuse of people who had been helping their inquiry, calling it totally unacceptable. An expert diving team led by Peter Falting, the founder of Specialist Group International, a private search and rescue organization, will be assisting in the search for Nicola Bully today. The team will be utilizing helicopters and high-spec sonar equipment worth approximately £55,000 to aid in their efforts. Mr. Falding, a world-renowned forensics expert, stated that his team carries out underwater operations for the police in the southeast. But for this particular operation, they are bringing a particularly advanced piece of equipment, a 1,800 kHz specialist side-scan sonar. The sonar has a very high success rate and has the capability to locate individuals within an hour during search operations. In addition to the sonar, the team will also survey the route of the river by helicopter. Mr. Falding emphasized that each year his team deals with many drowning cases and they are able to locate the individuals extremely quickly due to the high frequency of the sonar. However, an ex-detective has warned that the police are boxing themselves into a theory that she fell into the river. 11 facts you may not know about missing mum case. Paul and Nicola work mostly from home and are known in the community. They have CCTV and Paul has never been a suspect. They regularly go for walks with their dog, Willow, and remove her harness at the top field. Willow is very protective of the ball and they rarely take it with them on walks. Nicola often talks on loudspeaker on her phone. 
Willow was found close to a bench and her harness was found on the floor, not on the bench. Nicola is a strong swimmer. Nicola drove to the school and then walked to the river. Willow was found dry. Willow has since been back. There is CCTV at the back of the caravan park. The search for Nicola Bully, a 45-year-old woman who went missing on a dog walk in St. Michael's on wire, has been expanded to include the sea after no trace of her was found in the river wire. Nicola vanished on January 27 and her phone was later discovered on a bench overlooking the water. The police have ruled out foul play and have brought in experts to aid in the search. Teams have searched the river wire and now separate dive teams have begun searching towards Morecambe Bay. The search efforts have been led by Peter Falding, the chief of a diving firm, who has expressed doubts that Nicola ever fell into the river. He has stated that it would be almost impossible for her to have been dragged down to the estuary, as a body would become snagged within 500 meters of the entry point. Despite this, his team has trawled what they consider the hot zone as well as several miles up and downstream, but no evidence of Nicola has been found. Meanwhile, a friend of Nicola's, Heather Gibbons, has spoken out about the speculation on social media surrounding the case stating that nothing is making sense and that it is hurtful to the family. In conclusion, the search for Nicola Bully continues, with dive teams now searching the sea in hopes of finding her. An expert diving team led by Peter Falting, the founder of Specialist Group International, a private search and rescue organization, will be assisting in the search for Nicola Bully today. The team will be utilizing helicopters and high-spec sonar equipment worth approximately 55,000 pounds to aid in their efforts. Mr. Falding, a world-renowned forensics expert, stated that his team carries out underwater operations for the police in the southeast. But for this particular operation, they are bringing a particularly advanced piece of equipment, a 1,800 kilohertz specialist side-scan sonar. The sonar has a very high success rate and has the capability to locate individuals within an hour during search operations. In addition to the sonar, the team will also survey the route of the river by helicopter. Mr. Falding emphasized that each year his team deals with many drowning cases and they are able to locate the individuals extremely quickly due to the high frequency of the sonar. However, an ex-detective has warned that the police are boxing themselves into a theory that she fell into the river. Her partner, Paul Ansel, has made a public appeal for help in finding her car keys. Let's dive into the details. Nicola Bully went missing while walking her dog along the river wire after dropping her daughters at school. Police have been conducting a search for her since then, but she has not been found. In a recent development, her partner Paul Ansel has reached out to Mercedes for help in tracking down her car keys. According to a friend of the family, Paul Ansel is hoping that Mercedes can help shed some light on Nicola's whereabouts. It is not yet clear how Mercedes may be able to assist, but it's clear that the family is turning over every stone to find answers. It's been two weeks since Nicola Bully went missing, and the search for the mum of two continues. Specialist resources including underwater search teams, drones, mounted police, and the police helicopter are combing the river wire and the surrounding area. People may have seen less police activity in the last day or two than previously, but that's because the focus of the search has moved further downstream into the tidal area of the river and out towards the coast. The police are keeping an open mind about what might have happened to Nicola and are investigating all possible leads. They are reviewing their decisions regularly and viewing CCTV and dashcam footage, as well as speaking to people who have information. At the present time, there is nothing to suggest anything untoward has happened or that there is any third-party involvement in Nicola's disappearance. However, the investigation is ongoing. There have been reports in the media about a red van, but at this time, there is nothing to suggest that this was anything other than one of many vehicles in the area that morning. The inquiry team is working through hundreds of pieces of information and reports in the media can distract them from genuine inquiries. Our priority is to find Nicola and provide answers for her family, who continue to be supported and regularly updated by specially trained officers. However, we are seeing groundless and hurtful abuse of innocent people, including witnesses and local businesses, which is totally unacceptable. We are also seeing a huge amount of commentary from so-called experts, ill-informed speculation, and conspiracy theories, which is damaging to the investigation, the community of St. Michael's, and, worst of all, to Nicholas family. It must stop. Anyone with information or footage can call 101, quoting log 565 of January 30th, or submit information through the major incident public portal at mip.polic.uk. A body has been discovered after a police helicopter was spotted flying near the search site which is approximately one mile away from the location where Ms. Bully was last seen. Although formal identification has not yet occurred, police have confirmed that the body belongs to the missing person. The family of Nicola has been notified of the situation, and the police have requested that their privacy be respected during this challenging time. According to reports, two walkers provided a tip-off that led to these latest developments. During a press conference, Lancashire police read a statement from Nicola Bully's family, who confirmed that their worst fears had been confirmed. They expressed their disbelief and horror at what their loved one must have gone through in her last moments, and emphasized that they will never forget her. The 
The family's main concern now is to ensure that their daughters receive all the support and care that they need during this difficult time. They also express their deep frustration with the media and the public, who have made false accusations against Nicholas' partner and family members. The family called for those responsible to be held accountable and for this not to happen to another family.